Hi, I'm Thomas. And I'm Sheena, and we're chasing a plate. Today we're in Banda Baru Bangi in Selangor, and we're here to try laksa keda, a noodle soup that is from the state of Keda. We're excited, we're starving, let's eat. We've each ordered a bowl of laksa keda, and they have arrived in these small clay pots. I'm just gonna lift the lid up and see what there is to discover. Whoa! I got a real whiff of that fish broth as I took the lid off and there's just a treasure of ingredients in here. I can see some uh, stubby white rice noodles, there's shredded cucumber, there's some boiled egg, half a boiled egg, there's um, red onion, down kasong which is Vietnamese coriander and that peach coloured broth which I hear is supposed to be quite sour from tamarind. Let's just give the broth a go because it looks really mouthwatering. Wow! That is really good. So it is very sour and you can taste that fish in there. I think it might be quite an oily fish so maybe they use a local tuna or mackerel. Let's just try some of those rice noodles. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Those rice noodles are so slippery and soft. Keda is known as the rice bowl of Malaysia, hence the use of the rice noodles, and they are very, very good. I love the taste of the red onion in there, that's also very strong. Mm, it just cuts through that really strong fish flavour and it is quite strong, quite pungent, but very light. And there's that crunch from the cucumber, it's very fresh. I'm going to give this uh, boiled egg a go because it looks really creamy. Mmm, that yolk just disintegrated in my mouth, that was so good. Thomas, you have to get in and try this. I've just pulled that lid off the top of mine and as Sheena said it has such a pungent flavour when you take the lid off, it's not flavour, smell, when you take the lid off. Now I'm really excited to try this Kera Laksa for a few reasons. One is there's a lot of different laksas in Malaysia so we're very slowly working our way through the list. There are so many to try, I think we're up to about number five or six. So it's really exciting to try a different version. All of the states almost seem to have their own version of laksa so there's lots to try. And the other reason I'm excited to try this is because it's our first sort of true food from Keda that we're trying and we're heading to Keda in about a month's time so it's going to be really good to taste some of the flavours of that state. Now if you are from Keda or you've been to Keda, let us know what dishes should we have when we're there, which dishes should we try in KL before we go there. We really want all your tips so chuck them down in the comments and if you haven't subscribed and you're loving our videos we'd really like it if you hit subscribe give this a thumbs up right let's try this because this smells just just blowing my mind this soup is um is quite thin you can sort of you can smell the fish so strong so i'm just going to try the soup by itself oh yum it's got a great fishiness the smell of fish is stronger than the taste of fish. It's actually not that that fishy. Let's try a bit more. There's a little bit of a spice. Oh, tiny spice, but it's a really fresh taste. It's got some greens, like some, I think some spring onions or something in there. No, they're not uh, spring onions. I don't know what they are. Sheena, do you know what they are? Oh no, they're spring onions. I can see some spring onions. So it's got some real freshness, and then you've got the cucumber. That's livening it up, giving it freshness. And the, the, the broth has a bit of a grittiness, it's, so it's really nice in the mouth. Let's try it with the noodles and cucumber, red onion. Mm. Wow. After that smell, I thought this was going to be very heavy. I've got it all over me. I think that's the way with luck, so you've just got to get it on your chin. I thought it was going to be very heavy, but it's actually really light. It's, it's reminding me of a um, Assam laksa, it's got the sourness, the fishiness, but then it's, it's almost lighter somehow, it's very fresh on the mouth. I'm going to have another spoon. Mmm, this is a sort of bowl. You could just wolf so quickly because it's so easy to eat. Yum! 
Like Thomas said, the Laksa Keta is super light, so it's similar to the Assam Laksa in the sour taste of the broth, but it's nowhere near as heavy in my opinion. And we've just been tasting what we thought was that spring onion, but it's definitely not spring onion. We asked the staff and they said it was down shalom. Now I've looked at on Google to see if we could work out what that is in English, but it's thrown up no clues. So if you know what down shalom is in English, please let us know in the comments below because it's adding like a really fresh zing to the dish. It almost tastes like a sharp celery to me. I'm gonna give this another go because it's so good. Mmm. Those noodles are really bouncy and they sort of remind me of udon noodles but less chewy. That is really really tasty. This place that we're at also sells um, chendol. So after this bowl of laksa we are totally going to indulge in a bowl of chendol because as you know, if you've been following our videos, we are totally obsessed. We'll link some Chendol videos up there. <laughs> okay, Ordered a couple of Chendols to finish up today, and this looks like a pretty sort of almost a fun fair version of Chendol because it's full of all sorts of things. Often they're much more simple than this. If you have a look, what mine's got, I've got so Chendol at its heart is shaved ice with coconut milk, uh, gula malaka, which is uh, coconut palm sugar, and these green noodles are chendol, so chendol noodles. They're pandan flavored noodles. But today, this one has all of those ingredients. I also have palut, or sticky rice. We have these little pink sort of jelly balls. I'm not, I don't know if there's anything inside. I don't think so. We've got corn, which also has some sort of puree with it. Um, I don't know if there's anything else hiding in there. Oh yep, there's some red kidney beans in there. So all sorts of treats hiding in my bowl of chendol. <laughs> I'm just giving the chendol a big mix up and I love it because the ice starts to melt. It all starts to combine. The gula malaka or the palm sugar really starts to dissolve into the dish. So your coconut milk gets darker and darker. Let's give this one a go. This is always such a refreshing dessert after any meal in Malaysia. Mmm. Oh, that, um, the gula malaka's got, it's very sweet, but it's got quite a burnt taste to it. Mmm. The palut, or sticky rice, really adds to this dish for me. It's really fun. This is, this is a, such an interesting chendol with all these bits and bobs in here. I'm, I'm trying to find the corn so I can eat it, but I've lost it. There's so much going on in my bowl. It's disappeared. This is really fun. It's very refreshing. So after the spice of the laksa, this just clears off the palate. It is a great way to finish the meal. Remember, we always put directions down below of where we're eating. So if you want to come here as well and try these dishes, check in the description and you'll see exactly where this restaurant is. I ordered the original chendol, so everything that Thomas has minus the glutinous rice or polot. I originally ordered the chendol tapai, which I was desperate to try, but they've run out of tapai. Tapai is this fermented uh, sticky rice and it's got this really strong, almost alcoholic flavor and it is sensational. I've got to hold out for that one and try it next time. Let's give this a go. Mm, mm, mm. I just love the taste of coconut milk, cold coconut milk, with that beautiful smoky gula malaka. It's got such a caramel flavor. And where we're sitting is the most ideal, perfect spot to be enjoying a bowl of refreshing chendol because we're right by the lake in Banda Baru Bangi and it's just really stunning. It's pretty as. Done and so happy to have tried another version of laksa. I am loving all of these laksas in Malaysia. Unreal. Thank you so much to our subscribers who recommended Red Up Rimba Corner to us. We really loved the setting and the food was ace. We hope we inspired you to eat and explore like a traveler, not a tourist. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. Jumpalagi! Jumpalagi!